Today is Love Island The Game 2 Season 4 and we're back in with Jade and Bruno. I think this is episode 40 of Season 4, otherwise known as the bombshell season and I'm very excited about it. If you're brand new, make sure you check out the rest of the videos in the playlist and if you have seen these videos before and you're not yet subscribed, please do. It really helps me out and turn on the notifications so you know every single time I'm about to upload a video. This is episode 40 called The All Clear. Storm has passed and now it's time to pick up the pieces. Is it a spring clean or did your cup? fall apart. When I was little I wanted to be a meteorologist. I trained in front of the mirror and everything. And today, finally, the training's paid off. I can confidently announce that there are some dark rainy clouds forming in the villa. Oh god, what happened? In fact, it seems the island is in the eye of the storm. Dylan's been saying some stuff about your date and it's left Jade stranded all alone on her daybed. Well, she managed to make the sun shine on her couple. You blink in the bleak morning light. Your eyelashes are caked with leftover makeup from the night before and your whole face feels heavy. Next to you, the other half of the bed is cold. Bruno. The events of the previous evening come back to you in a rush. I hope he and I can work it out. Jade, here you are. Angie! Angie sits next to you and hugs you close without a word. Angie's come to check on me. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? You feel a prickling at the back of your eyelids and Angie's hug tightens. I'm here. It's gonna be okay. Dylan's been sulking though. Like, I think he's figuring out that his little game isn't paying off. His little game? It's pretty clear at this stage he wanted to stir drama all along. He kind of succeeded. Yeah, but it's nothing that can't be mended. What happened between you and him anyway? Tell Angie about last night, because that's creepy. Last night, Dylan came up to me in the middle of the night. He was acting all supportive, right? Maybe that's what he wanted, but I mostly ignored him. That's the right thing to do with this kind of people. Don't give them anything. I'm going to tell Angie about the date. When we went on the date, he was acting super protective. Protective. Like over the top protective. And how did that make you feel? How did it make me feel? Like he wasn't being genuine. I see. And then what happened? Well, then he complimented me a lot, but there was always something a bit off, a bit backhanded. We talked about my job and he made it sound like I needed rescuing from it. Basically, he was negging you. And she says Dylan was negging me. Yeah, and he wasn't subtle. It's a good thing you noticed. Sometimes they're smart about it and can really knock down someone's confidence. That's awful. Yeah, and more importantly, it's not your fault. I hope you understand that. Angie hugs you close and gives you a gentle peck on your forehead. And then he told me all the stuff about Valentina. He was trying to get into your head. He really is a manipulative jerk, but it's gonna be okay. Now we all know what's what. Do you know Dylan's the one that spread the Hazim kiss rumor after all? He told Tiffany about it, in confidence, just when Will was in earshot, and then Will went and blurted it out to Bruno. He didn't think it would be a big deal. Oh, I think the next stage is for you to clear the air with Bruno. Sounds like you didn't do anything final. And Dylan should have known better. But it's best to be open and honest with Bruno. You're right. Thank you, Angie. Angie looks over your shoulder. When you turn around, you find Bruno standing there. I think we should talk. We should. Angie squeezes your hand before letting go. You stand up and accompanied by Bruno, make your way over to the lover's nook. You gingerly sit on opposite ends of the couch. Bruno glances at you out the corner of his eye, opens his mouth to speak and then stops. Bruno's struggling to say something. Are you okay? I... I let Dylan get into my head like a fool. I guess I crumbled under the pressure of everything. Bruno takes a deep breath and looks straight at you, his eyes pleading. I'm truly sorry. I want to make it very clear that I trust you. I know you'd never do anything to hurt me. And I really apologise for walking out on you last night. He scooches a little closer to you. It must have felt pretty lonely. Bruno's asking if I was lonely last night. I'm going to take his hand. You meet Bruno halfway and take his hand. You're here now. Yeah, and I'm not going anywhere. It was way too sad to be in that bed without you. If we ever fight in the future, we've got to sort it out before we go to sleep. Definitely. At least we learned something. Dylan can't take what we have away from us. Nope, we're stronger than anything. Or anyone. You tenderly beam at each other. By the way, last I saw, Dylan was spewing some nonsense in the kitchen. Wanna go say your piece? Bruno's asking if I wanna go and confront Dylan. I'm gonna give him hell. But I hope that Bruno comes with us. That's my jade. Let's make him regret it. Hell yeah. You stand up together from the couch and make your way to the kitchen. Dylan's standing at the kitchen counter, whipping up some breakfast. Oliver sits a small distance apart, but he's not looking at Dylan. Nothing better than yogurt in the morning, am I right, mate? Hmm. Ah, Jade. Oh ho, look who's here. Good morning, baby. Bruno tenses up next to you. Dylan just called me baby. Don't you dare baby me. Hey, what was that for? Some people really have no shame. Oh, you stay out of this. Oliver raises his palms in front of him. You're right. This isn't my fight, but I've got a hunch I agree with whatever Jade's about to say. Yeah, that's because you're soft on her. Oliver blushes a little. 
that's neither here nor there. Your behaviour is pretty easy to see through. And what is it you're seeing? Oliver shakes his head. Dylan, people can see how manipulative you are. It's obvious everything you say and do is just to make drama. You haven't been honest even once since you walked into the villa. It's all been nasty lies and tricking people into doing what you want. Valentina, Tom and Yusuf are standing in the kitchen's entrance, watching Dylan with grim expressions. You've done everything you can to break up Bruno and me. And you completely failed, by the way. We're stronger than ever. Bruno wraps a tender arm around your waist. Thank you. Something's very wrong with you two, Jade and Bruno. You really should stop being so suspicious of people. Pretty sure it's a condition. Bruno takes a deep breath next to you. Bruno's about to let Dylan have it. Oh, I'm gonna let him rip. Go on, Bruno. You know what, Dylan? You're just a small, nasty person. You don't deserve any of the good people in this room or in this villa. Whatever game you've been playing, you've lost. You think you're such a king, but you just checkmated yourself. So leave us alone. Oliver nods approvingly. In the thick silence, Valentina crosses the kitchen, walks past Dylan and gives Oliver a good morning hug. It's lovely to have you around, Oliver. I'm glad we got such a nice addition to the villa, next to whatever snake crawled in at the same time. Dylan frowns and lets his spoon fall into his bowl with a clank. You lot don't deserve someone like me. Oh, please, Dylan, stop. This is embarrassing. No grown human should act the way you do. Dylan throws him a sharp glance and storms out of the kitchen. Right, now we can finally have some breakfast. Jace, you okay? Bruno's asking if I'm okay. No, but I will be. I'm surrounded with good people. That's bound to make things better. Bruno's arms tighten around you. You close your eyes for a second and when you open them, a plate with toast and fresh fruit is floating under your nose. We thought this might help. Oliver, Yusuf, Tom and Valentina stand in front of you. He's not much but is better than an empty stomach. Valentina nods. I'm glad you stood up to him Jade, someone had to. Everyone made me a small breakfast plate. I'm gonna cry a little, I'm a bit overwhelmed right now. Tears fall out of your eyes and everyone gently pats whatever bit of your arms they're closest to. I hope the plate isn't why you're crying. I know this isn't the most refined meal, but still. Everyone chuckles. Right, should we go and eat a bite on the beanbags? Let's go. You all walk out into the warm sun. All the islanders are on the beanbags except for Dylan, who's nowhere to be seen. Bruno's seated behind you, his arms wrapped around your waist. Angie's on the next beanbag over. Typical Dylan, he just slinked away. Yeah, after Jade and Bruno told him what's what, that's not surprising. Sounds like it was epic. I'm a bit sad I missed it. I feel like he's getting off easy though. Maybe Jade and I should play a prank on him. You could tie all his socks together with nautical knots so he can never untie them. That sounds like it would take a very, very long time. Does anyone here even know how to do nautical knots? I do, I sail regularly. But he's not worth that kind of effort. Yeah, I was thinking something simpler but I do like the idea of using his clothes. What do you say, Jade? Partners in crime? And you're suggesting we play a prank on Dylan. I don't want to disappoint anyone, but I don't think Jade would do it. I think she'd be like, I'm done with him. He's not worth my time anymore. I want to hang out with Bruno because I spent the whole night away from him. So I'm not going to go away just to go and play a prank. So I don't think I'm going to do it, but please, please let me know what happened in the comments if your MC played a prank with Angie. Let's just chill here. No worries. And if you want, we can chat a bit later today. Take our minds off things. Sure. It is nice just to relax a little. Yeah, it really is. You close your eyes and doze off, cradled by the low buzz of conversations around you. By the time you and Angie make your way to the roof terrace, it's night out. We still haven't seen Dylan. I bet he's hiding somewhere. Or maybe he just ran away from the villa? Angie thinks Dylan's run away from the villa. I'd like that. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice and simple, but I guess not. There's gonna be some kind of resolution to it still. Speaking of resolution, I'm glad you talked it through with Bruno. You looked as loved up as ever. Do you reckon it's gonna be smooth sailing from now on? Do you mean, are we gonna to stick together until the end of the villa? Yeah, I mean, Bruno's great, but you have options. Oliver's totally smitten by you. Yusuf's been making eyes at you. A very popular gal. So I wondered how you felt now. Angie's asking if my head might turn. Nope, it's Bruno all the way. Good for you, Jade. I'm glad you found your person. Thanks, Angie. You smile at each other and let a comfortable silence settle between you while you gaze at the night sky. The stars are scattered in the sky like glitter, some shining brighter than the rest. You sigh and recline back onto your hands, watching the bright lights flicker millions of miles above you. I always wanted a star as a kid. Not cars, dolls or Play-Doh. A star. You turn towards Angie and smile fondly at her. Angie wanted a star as a childhood toy. Sounds like you. I ended up getting a teddy bear in the shape of a star. It may or may not have been operated on. Uh, explain. All you need to know was that there was stuff in everywhere. Well, that seems very on brand for you, Ange. Angie laughs shakily, biting down on her bottom lip. What, wanting things I can't have? She runs her hand nervously through her locks, a gaze darting between you and the sky. You know, this has been an interesting journey and, uh, it's... 
it's made me... Oh, what are the words? Angie takes a deep breath in, trying her best to gain composure. Your brows furrow together and you extend your hand to rest on hers. And are you doing all right? Angie sighs with frustration, shaking her head as she looks up to the sky. Do you have any regrets about your time here, Jade? Angie's wondering if I have any regrets. None. Angie scoffs. Oh, wish I had your confidence. You're telling me you've got regrets? Angie stiffens. She avoids eye contact with you and bites on her bottom lip, chewing it nervously. Maybe. A voice cracks a bit, making you raise an eyebrow. Angie seems nervous. I'm gonna ask what's wrong. What's up, girl? You didn't eat any of Bruno's expired oats, did you? Angie swallows back a dry laugh. She rests her head on your shoulder gently. No, I didn't. But I, I do have a regret. Angie avoids your gaze and returns to looking at the sky. Comfortable silence passes the two of you. You feel Angie's hand slide into your grip, fingers automatically entwining together. Her skin is warm, flush against your own. It's been a long journey, but every step of the way you've had my back. Encouraged me to break out of my shell and focus on me. I can't tell you how much you mean to me, Jade. She gently squeezes your hand. Jade, your head turns slightly to meet her gaze. Angie is close enough that you catch whiffs of her minted shampoo tinged with cinnamon. Her lips are mere inches from your own. Angie's so close. <gasps> Oh my goodness. This is such a romantic moment. I feel like if Jade was actually there, she is actually there, but if there were real actual people having this moment, I feel like it would be hard to resist kissing someone in that moment. But you do have to remember that Jade and Bruno are very happily together and they have just been knocked apart pretty horrifically because Jade previously a long time ago kissed someone and I feel like we can't do that to Bruno. However, if after the series has ended and you want to see me play either the Dylan route or the Angie route from this point forwards, let me know in the comments down below because I want to play it. I can't lie. I do want to play it. So unfortunately, I'm going to let the moment pass. You let the moment pass. Warm air wraps around you and Angie turns suddenly. The two of you lie back to watch the sky again. It's a beautiful sight. Just at that moment, your phone buzzes. Ooh, what's up? Islanders, a girl's choice recoupling will take place tonight. Anyone left single at the end of it will be dumped. Hashtag ladies first. Hashtag lonely hearts. Wow. We need to go tell everyone. You nod and make your way downstairs. Nothing like a bit of stargazing to remind us that the villa is all about romance. South breeze tussling your hair. Red roses walking into the sunset hand in hand. Bonds eternal like the sky. Well, if eternal means until tonight's recoupling. It's girl's choice and the boys aren't feeling scintillating. Whose star is going to shine bright? And who's just gonna flicker out of the villa? Find out next on Love Island. Did we make a mistake? Should we have kissed Angie? I don't know. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this episode, please give it a like. I really appreciate it. It helps me out and keeps me knowing that you're enjoying these videos. Also, as always, if you haven't already, please do subscribe and click that notification bell so you know every single time I upload a video. I feel like I've got that script down now. <laughs> Thank you again everyone for watching it really does mean the world to me i hope you're enjoying season five and season four if you're watching both at the same time and i will be continuing to bring out the content so i hope you enjoy it let me know your thoughts and i will see you in the next one everyone goodbye